We are tired of looking tired and feeling tired. It's just so tiring being this tired. Of course, it's completely okay to take two rest days, procrastinate on the third, and scroll your phone on the fourth. But you wouldn't be watching this video, Bestie, if you didn't feel terrible about it. And we have to keep in mind that how we spend our days is how we spend our life. So here's how to make your life go from looking like this to this by following the glow-up steps that I have for you in this video. I also created two free Notion templates to help you organize everything in 2024 because I want you to have the highest chance of achieving everything you manifest. So be sure to watch till the end because I've hidden the templates in two separate parts of the video. Let's start. First, find a third place. If you feel lonely, unsatisfied, or bored all the time, you're missing a third place. Your first place is your home, and your second place is your workplace or your school. Your third place is any location that you regularly go to that isn't your home, work, or school. It's a place where you can relax, meet new people, or even catch up with old friends. Now for a lot of us Gen Z, our third place is our phone, the internet. We go there to talk to and connect with other people. But why are we still feeling so bored and unfulfilled after meeting, listening, and talking to people online for hours? If using social media and the internet is really such a good way to relax, then why do we feel so drained after spending hours online? I want you to ask yourself this. Right now, are you using social media to have fun, to relax, to learn? Or are you using social media because you can't think of anything else to do? Comment down below your answer, bestie. After exams, I was on TikTok and Instagram so much because I had more free time. But one day, I forgot to charge my phone and I realized that I literally had nothing else to do. Which made me ask myself the question that I just asked you and it just blew my mind. I realized that a lot of us don't actively choose to use our phones to connect with other people. We just do it because we feel like there's no other option. It's not the same as us going to a cafe, a park, or a library for some social interaction. A lot of us just turn to our phones because it's our habit and not our choice. So this year, I want you to find out what your third place is. It's a place that you enjoy going to so much that when you're free, you choose to go there first instead of picking up your phone. Here's how to find your third place. What are your interests? If you love reading, a bookstore or a library might be your spot. If you're into fitness, try a gym, pilates, or yoga studio. Into food, then try a cafe. Feel free to screenshot this list of third places for you to try. My third place is actually the bookstore and I love going there and asking you for recommendations. And I also love walking along the river during sunset. Subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying it so far, bestie. Next, how to be organized. Everyone knows how important it is to be organized. But starting is the hard part. Where do you even begin? Well, I'ma help you out, bestie. <laughs> to help you with your glow up journey, I've created a free Notion template that you can download and use to help you achieve all your goals and stay organized. You know from all my Instagram stories that I use Notion for everything, from planning to note taking to scripting and budgeting my finances. So I wanted to create an updated and improved version of a Notion template that I released a year or two ago. There's actually another Notion template at the end of the video. So let me show you how to use this new template that I created for you. For any Notion template that you want to use, click duplicate on the top right and it will appear in your Notion after you've made a free account. Always make sure that small text and full width are turned on. The first thing that you do is change this into your name. It's yours now. After the instructions, there are pictures you can click on that will lead you into separate pages. Click into it and you can change the cover if you don't like the ones that I picked. Press slash on your keyboard to choose any element you want to add into your page, from headings to to-do lists and tables. I've also added a space for you to write your top goal in 2024 and your most important ins and outs that you want to remind yourself to practice this year. There's also easy access to a lo-fi playlist and a space for you to put your favorite quote. This is a quote that I always say to you besties and it's actually in my own handwriting but feel free to change it if you want. Just click on anything you want to edit. My template is just a suggestion. Feel free to customize, move things around and build a system that works for you. For example, if you prefer the to-do list to be the first thing you see when you open your Notion, just click on the six dots here and drag it down. 
there you go. This also has a calendar and I actually like to invite my friends and family over to this page so they can add their schedules into this calendar. It makes coordinating gatherings so much easier. There is a to-do list here, but I'll also link a separate page that I created called the master to-do list. It's an automatic to-do list that will sort your tasks according to priority for you. I'll leave the link to get this free Notion template and the link to create a free Notion account in the description box below. Click duplicate on the top right, then scroll all the way to the bottom. Here, dump all your tasks that you have. This to-do list will sort everything out for you according to urgency using the dates that you assigned. So those are the two main Notion templates that I recommend you start out with, but I'll make sure to link all the other Notion templates that I've created and the video of me explaining how to use them in the description box below. It took me a week to create these Notion templates, so as a payment, please subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. I will love myself in 2024 to manifest a happier new year. Next, put your space to sleep. We tend to underestimate how much our space affects our mental health. In my previous video on how to be an it girl, I did mention that how you present yourself will affect your reputation and ultimately the opportunities that come your way. I'll leave a link to the video here and in the description box below. But other than feeling messy and disorganized, having a messy bedroom can actually make us have a nothing matters attitude. When you don't care about your personal space, you're just one step away from not caring about your personal appearance and your hygiene then this cycle of indifference starts to escalate. You'll start thinking, oh, my bedroom is so messy anyway, what's the point in organizing my desk? Then it becomes, I have so many dirty clothes, what's the point in doing laundry? And then we end up with no space to do work, no clean clothes to wear, and no space to cook healthy food. And then we wonder why we don't have motivation to do anything. So the tip that really helped me stay organized in the past year is to put my space to sleep every night. So just spend 5-10 to 10 minutes every night cleaning. Waking up to a clean and organized space is one of the best feelings ever. Next, budget like a boss. It doesn't matter how much you earn. In fact, knowing how to manage your finances when you still have a lower income is one of the best skills you'll ever learn. I'll also give some advice for my younger besties who don't have an income but still take allowance from their parents. Split your income or allowance into these three categories. 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings. Needs and savings are non-negotiable. Always dedicate a portion of your money towards these categories because your makeup, games, and clothes can't pay for emergencies. Regarding savings, even if you're just contributing one or two dollars every month, you're still forming the important habit of allocating a portion of your income towards savings. When your pay increases, then you can increase the amount dedicated towards the fund. Your aim is to have enough in your savings to cover at least three months worth of expenses. If you're still living with your parents and they're paying for your bills, still take out a portion of your money every month towards needs. One day, you'll move out and you'll need it. You'd be surprised at how expensive everything is and every dollar counts. Actually, if you want me to make a dedicated video on smart money habits to start young, let me know in the comment section and I'll do that. Next, here's another thing you should track. Other than our finances, we need to know how our time is being spent. This year, we're going to track our habits because we can't manage our time if we don't know how we're spending it. And opening up our screen time every two weeks and getting a heart attack is not the way to do it. You can definitely do this with pen and paper, but I prefer using Notion just because it's easier. And I've prepared the perfect template for you linked in the description box below. Again, click duplicate on the top right corner and make sure that you have created an account. Scroll down and you'll see the month on top and the dates on the left. Then write out the habits that you want to practice in 2024. Just spend 30 seconds every night ticking off the habits that you have done for the day. Feel free to change the key too. You can also add milestones that you want to achieve and the rewards that you'll be treating yourself with. It's not just about how satisfying ticking each box is, but it's more about identifying the habits that you can't stick to and figuring out how to improve on that. I'll link this habit tracker in the description box below. Lastly, get ready to hear the best thing I've ever been told. So, you feel like joining a gym but you're self-conscious about your fitness level. So, even bodybuilders start off scrawny. You want to be an influencer but you're embarrassed. So, your favorite YouTuber started off with zero subscribers as well. I have too much laundry to do. So, who said you had to do it all in one day? 
The only thing stopping you is yourself, bestie. Every time you're embarrassed or hesitant to try something new, ask yourself what if and embrace all the possibilities. Stop asking yourself what can go wrong and then being paralyzed by fear. If you're still unsure, then ask yourself, so what? Make this year the year you stop stopping yourself. If you have made it this far, comment down below what is your top goal in 2024. Be sure to like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Thank you for 1,090,000 subscribers and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye besties!